Hey guys, I'm Scar Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Night Train by Guns N' Roses. So this one's going to be taking care of all the riffs, all the chords. Um, and then the next one we'll take a look at Slash's solo there. Uh, so let's just go through here. Now as if, as most Guns N' Roses is, you're going to be tuned down a half step here. So just tune every string down. We got E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. All right. So after you've got that taken care of, we're going to start with this open, just the intro, which is kind of the main riff. We have an open A power chord. Then we have this. So what's going on there? We're going to start here, seventh fret on the D, ninth on the G, eighth on the B string. So you play those three strings together a couple times, then do a bar across those three strings at the seventh fret. Hit that and then hit it and slide it down to the fifth fret. So we have this. And when you get down to that fifth fret, you can hit that those three strings again. Play this. All right, then you kind of slide into that fifth fret again with those same three notes, but you're going to want to change the finger here. Instead of using your first finger, you're going to use your third finger. Because so then you're going to go to just two strings here, with just the fifth fret on the D and the fourth on the G. And then hit that, slide those two notes down, two frets, and then hold a bar across the first fret on the high E and the B string. So just make it a full F chord there. So we have this. All right, and now we're up to the power chord off the fifth fret of the D string. So the fifth fret of the D, seventh on the G. Hit that twice. So we have this. And then the fifth fret on those two strings. Again, down to stay, keep the five on the D. You just lower down to the four on the G. So you just do that. And then back to the two fives. Back to the four on the G. And then you're going to do the bar across the second fret on the uh, G and the D. Just those two strings, then those two strings open, and back to those two strings. Oh, that's the second fret. For this. Then you'll start over. So the vocals come in there. Now here, instead of going you're going to do this. This is a different ending. You're going to play those two, uh, uh, the second fret there at the on the D and the G. Pull off to the open strings. Grab the third fret there on the low E. And then end it with that A power chord. Alright, now from there we launch into the verse. And it sounds like this. Alright, so I'm just going to do that. There's an ending to this verse, which I'll, I'll cover by itself. But right here, I just wanted to show you this so, it's, so you can see where it repeats easier. We're just off that A power chord. So you just hit that three times. And then you do an open E, then the third fret on the low E, and then back to that power chord. So that's those two low notes are palm muted. The back of that chord, three times there, so we have this. Now we do this again, but instead of ending it on the going back up to that A, we go. So it still has a zero three in the low E, but now you're gonna grab the third fret on the A string and do a slight bend downward, a slow bend. So we have this so all together. And 
And now we have this. So that's the A power chord, then the 0, 3, and then back to the A power chord, back to 3, and back to the A power chord. So it is. So all together. All right, and then it just kind of continues into three times and that bend. And at the end it goes, you gotta just instead, instead of going back to that A, you know, zero, three, it just, Hit the D power chord, and this first in uh, first verse ends like this. All right, so we are kind of doing two note versions of the intro that we did. So it's just on the B and the um, G strings. You're gonna grab the eighth fret there on the B, ninth on the G. Play that twice, then grab the sevens on both of those strings and slide them down twice. All right, now you're gonna pick those two notes again. You're gonna pick that, then the fourth fret on the G. Back to the two fives. So we have this. You just play the fifth fret there on the G if you want, and then. Third fret on the B, fourth on the G. So all together, play this. And then, and that's two, zero on the G, two on the D, back to two on the G. Now that's the note that you hit all those pinch harmonics on. So you're just kind of doing random stuff there. Just do pitch harmonics up in the G string. On the last one, you really bend it up a couple of whole steps. All right, and then we're back to the second verse, which has the exact same riff. All right, except, and it still goes to that D. Now the ending here after you get to that D is different than the first verse. And this second verse, it goes back uh, pretty much to what we have um, in the intro, the three note version of it. Except at the very end, you go the two, uh, second fret there on the D and the G, the open strings and Grab a G power chord. And you start building up there, just a palm muting. And that leads us into the chorus, uh, the first chorus, which sounds like this. All right, so it's pretty simple. We're gonna start with it A power chord, hit that twice, and then do three zero on the A, twice. Over to the third fret on the low E, and then start back with this A power chord. Just repeat that. Then it transitions down to the F. So that, that's when the A goes. That's three zero twice again, down to three and one on the low E. And when you get here, so it's a little bit different melody here. 
we have three, two, three, two, open to the, uh, the third fret there on the low E. So, and when you play that, you're going to mute the fifth string, but you're going to have the two middle strings open with it on the G power chord. So from the beginning of the course, and after you get to this G, you'll that's just three two three two down to that three on the low E. So three two twice, and then you start back over. And you just keep doing this around this A. And that's gonna end just like that. The the verse ends there. All right, so now the last chorus is going to be a little bit different, so I'll show you that when we get there. So out of that first chorus comes the solo. So we're going to take a look at Slash's solo uh, in the next video, but uh, here we'll take a look at the rhythm under it, which looks like this. Alright, so you get the idea there. So we're basically just going to be uh, basing the beginning of it off this B power chord. So that's the second fret on the uh, A string, uh, fourth fret on the D. Hit those two together, then the open A. So it's the open A with the uh, fourth, fourth fret uh, on the fourth string. So you just kind of keep going into that B. So after you, the so we have this, you're gonna basically open low E string, power chord the first fret, and then the second fret, and then you do the same rhythm figure you did that you were doing over on the fifth string. So we have this. So you're just doing that low E open there, and then back to the beginning. And then we have this little, that's four, two, three, four, five on the low E. And then you're over to the power chord at the fifth fret and it kind of opens up a little bit on the A string down to that power chord at the second fret on the low E. So we're gonna rotate between those chords now the second time through. He's gonna lead up just two, three, four, five, leading it up to that D power chord again, off the A string. So, but what he's doing this part where he's basically basing this around this uh, D and this F sharp, he does some of that Chuck Berry stuff in there as well. So it's just kind of random though, just. So basically that's just that, you know, you add it uh, just two frets higher on that D string there. And then do the same thing here. So you can put that in there if you want. It's just really light in the mix. It doesn't really come out that well, but he does it a few times. Um, so, so really just do it uh, whenever you want to hear that sound. Now, from there we have the um, bridge of the song, which sounds like this. All right, so that ending part is actually done with a slide, so it's gonna sound awkward if you don't have a slide. But um, anyway, we're gonna do this part, which actually two guitar parts going on here. Uh, the main one would be this. So that's just the low E open, and then the first fret, 
in the second fret twice. Might want to palm mute those a little bit to make them pop out a little bit. And then grab the second fret on the B and the high E together. You can do it with one finger or two fingers. Then reverse that, which is just two, one, and zero twice. And then those open strings, the two high strings open to it. Uh, so the other guitar player is just doing this. So just power chords on the sixth string. So power chord version of, the, of that. That's basically all it is. And then and then it ends on the D with that slide at the seventh fret across the B, G, and the D string. Now, like I said, there's an actual slide he's using, but you can just use your finger if you don't have a slide. It's just one little quick part in the song, and you can make it sound decently like it. All right, and then it goes back to the same part you basically did in the intro. The breakdown there. All right, so that's just at the last note, just grabbing that second fret on the G and just uh, kind of bending it up. Now we have the last chorus of the song. Now this chorus is slightly different. It sounds like this. So you can see you're just kind of holding, doing that um, a little riff on each chord just twice. So we started on the A chord, just leading into it like the normal chords. The three, zero, done twice over the third fret on the low E, so just like the previous chord. So just the second time through it though, you take the melody all the way down for that F that we did in the first chorus as well. And then the same thing we did there. So after two times here, you take it up to the G. And then take it back to, after two times there, take it back to the A and just kind of jam out on the A chord a little bit for a couple of measures. And then you start over. So it does that all the way till it fades out. All right, so stay tuned for the next one. We're going to take a look at Slash's solo. I'll see you then.